Hey guys, just wanted to share this with you real quick. In case you were curious what the inside of a breadboard looks like or how it works, I'm going to open this one up. So this is a free bed breadboard that I received with um, with an order from Adafruit. I believe this is one that I got from Adafruit, but they just threw it in there. I know they gave me one for free with one of my orders. I believe this one was the one. In any case, I have a few other um, breadboards, so I'm not too worried about damaging this, but I, I think I might actually repair it afterwards. But it has this sticky tape on the bottom that I guess you're really supposed to permanently stick to something. And I, I really didn't want to stick it to anything. I just wanted to move it around. So, you know, the tape pulled off as I was removing it from things and that pulled some of the parts underneath. But this is a good chance to just remove this whole thing and show you what it looks like inside. So this is what a breadboard looks like inside and the parts are actually in pretty good condition. So good chance I'm just putting that back. I'm gonna put this back together and not with this, this sticky tape, but I'm gonna try to reuse this thing actually. Um, Cause it'd kind of be wasteful not to. But you, you basically have like a rail going this way. So you have a line going this way and a line going this way. So anything you plug into here, you can plug another thing into here and it'll be connected, right? You can see how that works. There's one, just one metal rail that goes all the way down here. There's a whole nother separate metal rail that goes down here. So anything you plug in here is going to connect to anything you plug in here and so on, right? Like if you plug something into here and then plug, plug another thing into here, they're connected through this rail, right? So, um, and it looks like this breadboard is coming apart like this too. All right, that, that's interesting. All right, anyways, um, now these, I'm gonna show you on the bottom again, I'm, but th this whole, these go uh, this direction, right? So like if this goes horizontally this way, these go vertically, you know, depending on how you orient it, right? But anything you plug into here, you plug something in here and it connects, right? If that makes sense. Um, plug something in here into A and another thing into E and they connect. But there's a gap here where nothing connects to this side. So, and, but the same idea on this side, right? And you can see the metal, these, these metal pieces right here are what cause that to happen. When you're sticking something in, in like say here and here, you're just sticking something into one of these metal pieces here. So for example, you have like a pin for one electronic component, when it actually gets stuck into one of these holes, it goes down into one of these, uh, it goes into one of these things like that. This is a little bit too big to actually stick in there. And another one would go in here and one, one is in here, right? And that they're connected through this piece of metal. So uh, yeah, sorry about the focus on this. As I move it this way, it, I can get it to focus on what's close up, but uh, I have to manually touch my screen to do it. Otherwise it's by default focusing there. So I'm not always watching my camera screen, so it kind of gets messed up. So any case, yeah, I'm going to try to put this back together and see if I can still use it. I mean, they, these are not expensive or anything. And I already have like a, at least two other breadboards in my closet. So um, I don't have a whole lot to worry about with that. But uh, yeah, I figured this would make an interesting video. You probably don't want to watch me just keep pulling the rest of this off. But yeah, good chance I'm just going to... See, these are in. These are completely fine. This is a relatively new breadboard. Nothing wrong with it. It's just this sticky stuff on the bottom. But yeah, so that's what's inside a breadboard. Um, yeah, if you were curious. So yeah, hopefully you found that interesting, maybe even useful. Um, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell icon. We have a lot of great other content, electronics, Raspberry Pis, robots, coding, servers, Linux, all sorts of great tech stuff, networking, all sorts of good stuff, 3D printing. You don't want to miss out. So uh, yeah, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon. Otherwise, uh, YouTube won't let you know when we come out with new videos. Um, if you know something I don't know or you have any comments, questions, criticisms, just leave a comment down below. We always want to hear what people have to say, um, good or bad, and any feedback is always good. So yeah, definitely leave a comment. And that's about it for today. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.